y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen so in today's video i'm going to be sharing three recipes all using a rotisserie chicken i actually did one of these videos probably about a year ago and i'm still getting views on that video so that told me it was time to show you three more recipes using this handy little guy, the rotisserie chicken. Makes dinners that much easier, that much quicker, and honestly, I think it even adds to the flavor of a lot of things. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on into these recipes. <music> So for this chicken parm casserole, you're just going to start by boiling some nice salty water, whatever pasta you choose, a 16 ounce box, just going to dump that in and let that cook until al dente. And then to a baking dish, I've already shredded up a rotisserie chicken. This is probably about three cups worth of chicken if you're just using, you know, leftover chicken or anything like that. Once our pasta is done, I'm going to put that right on top of the chicken. And then next comes the sauce. And this night I was using Rayo's, the roasted garlic variety. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Rayo's, but I have to tell you, the roasted garlic was not our favorite. We love the tomato basil and the marinara flavor. So just keep that in mind if you're trying out Rayo's. We love everything we've tried, just not the roasted garlic as much. So I'm gonna spread that sauce all over top of the noodles. You wanna make sure to get everything nice and coated. That way none of your noodles are dry or anything like that. We want it very saucy. Next on top of the sauce, we're just gonna add some shredded Parmesan cheese. And I will have the recipe that I was kinda going by linked down below in the description box as always. But in her recipe, I think she added a little bit more Parmesan. I didn't add quite the full amount and it still turned out really good. Next to a separate bowl, we're gonna add about one cup of panko breadcrumbs. We're gonna add a sprinkle of garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and then some paprika. And just mix that to combine. So we're gonna take that breadcrumb mixture and just sprinkle that all on top of the Parmesan cheese. And then next we're gonna add a layer of shredded mozzarella cheese. And this is gonna bake at 375 for about 20 or 30 minutes until nice and bubbly. And here it is out of the oven. I have to say this meal was so super easy and I think a great alternative to spaghetti just to kind of mix up the flavors a little bit. I think your family will love this one. y'all if you like fried chicken crab cakes or salmon patties you got to try this next recipe just trust me on this so to a mixing bowl I'm adding an egg some mayonnaise a little bit of flour also gonna add some chopped parsley salt pepper a little bit of fresh lemon zest and I'm gonna mix this all together So now I'm just bringing over that rotisserie chicken that I went ahead and shredded up. Also, we're gonna add a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese, and then we're just gonna stir everything to combine. And you will see it kinda all sticks together, but that's what we want. I actually pop mine into the freezer just for about 10 minutes to kinda let it harden up a little bit even more, because we're gonna roll these into balls and then into patties. We're gonna dip them into some panko breadcrumbs and then we're gonna fry those up in a skillet. Here I am just adding a little bit of avocado oil. You could also use even um, olive oil or canola oil, just whatever you have. But I'm putting those into the panko breadcrumbs, getting those nice and coated on both sides. And then these are gonna fry up in the pan for about three to five minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. Thank you. 
After I got them nice and golden and crispy, I just transferred them over onto a plate with a couple paper towels just to get some of that excess grease off of there. And I actually served these for Darren and I for lunch one day and they made the most perfect lunch. I just made us a little salad and then put these on the side. I squirt some fresh lemon juice on top of the chicken patties and then we had some homemade ranch and I'm telling you it was the most perfect lunch. Also when my kids got home from school I fried them up one and both of them loved them so this will definitely be going into our lunch or dinner rotation. Cabinet chat. All right, so the bread that I showed y'all, it is so good. I have it wrapped up here. I know this is not rotisserie chicken, but I made ours this morning so we could have it tonight with the gnocchi soup that either you're getting ready to see or maybe you already saw, but I think it's going to go really well with it. So I wanted to just share it with y'all. And if you want to see this in an upcoming video, I can make some more and include it. So just let me know. Like I said, super easy to make. I mean, extremely easy and it's delicious. So just let me know if you guys want to see it. That's all. Okay. Bye. Alright, so to a large pot, I'm just going to melt some butter and olive oil, get that heating up, and then we're going to add some onion, some shredded carrots, thinly sliced or small diced celery, and we're going to let that continue to saute and soften up. Next, I'm just adding a sprinkle of salt and pepper and some minced garlic, and I'm going to let that continue to cook for about 30 seconds just to open up the flavor of that garlic. Next, I'm just using a little bit of dry white wine to deglaze our pan. And then I'm just gonna whisk that around a little bit. We're also gonna add in some flour and kinda let that cook for just a few minutes. Next, we're gonna add in some chicken stock, some half and half, and then we're gonna add some freshly chopped thyme. We're also gonna add some Italian seasoning, and we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our gnocchi. I'm just using this brand that I found from Walmart. And these are gonna cook just for about five to seven minutes until they are nice and tender and soft. And then I'm adding again our beloved rotisserie chicken into the pot with all of this deliciousness. We're also gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese and a little sprinkle of nutmeg. Also, I'm adding in a couple handfuls of spinach. This will, of course, wilt down. You can't even hardly taste it. Perfect for kids. And I love a good meal like this. I think it has the veggies in there, the chicken, serve it with a good side of homemade bread, and you have the most perfect wintertime weeknight meal. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and cooking along with me today. I hope that maybe some of these recipes inspired you or gave you some ideas of your own. Also, let me know down in the comments, what do you wanna cook next? What should we cook next week or in the upcoming videos? I hope you guys are all doing amazing out there and I'll see you real soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.